It's you! Didn't think I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day. How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine, or to get paid? And where are you going after this? Right, you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. And, uh, of course! You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the Storm Terror Crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot. If I'm being honest, I'm totally jealous of all your achievements. Yeah, word's been spreading in adventurer circles for a long time now. Your adventure team shows up all over the continent. It might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions, but then, as soon as something big goes down, you're always there. Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like the protagonist of this world or something. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm just some unlucky guy. My adventure team even... Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I can learn. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. Um, when you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, <laughs> maybe you don't know. I'm a really unlucky person to have around. If you brought me along in an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. I don't want to get you into any trouble. So, just let me watch from the sidelines. That'd be good enough for me. Hmm? Something else? I guess you're right. Even just the chance to talk with you would be great too. Yeah, let's forget about adventuring for now. <laughs> but, uh... What would we do instead? Apart from going on adventures, the only other thing I do is take care of my dad's in the Adventurer's Guild. So, I really can't think of anything else to do besides adventuring. Alright, I feel like whatever we do, as long as you're involved, it'll be totally worth it. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be bringing my bad luck with me. So, it probably won't be a very fun trip. <laughs> Really? Looking forward to hanging out with someone like me? Seems like the rumors are all true. You really are a nice person able to bring people together. <laughs> so, where are we gonna go? Cool, that would be nice. I was planning to stock up on some adventuring supplies anyway. Oh. Sorry, I'm back to talking about adventuring again. You must think I'm so boring. Really? Well, of course you do. You are a famous adventurer after all. Uh, how about we go to the souvenir store? With Wind Comes Glory is my favorite shop ever. What can I say? Mondstadt's where I grew up. Let's go. Rebooting. When you're <laughs> everyone... Marjorie! Oh, hello, Bennett. I haven't seen you for a long time. I thought you were off adventuring in some faraway place that I've never heard of. <laughs> no, no, it's just I got myself into a tight spot out there. Ended up getting held up for quite a while. <laughs> what else is new? So, what are you looking to buy this time? Oh, I was just checking in to see if the stuff I ordered last time was ready. Thought I'd bring my friend along. You mean, Herman's custom adventure map? That's right! An adventure map drawn personally by Herman, the great adventurer! It shows loads of recommended places for adventuring, and with his comments, too! Well, it did arrive, but unfortunately, the cart tipped over in a puddle on the way here. Most of the goods were fine, but since the adventure map was an ink drawing, it's completely ruined. What? Oh shoot. That's such a shame.
Yes, I am the one who has to bear the loss after all. <sighs> Maybe I should reconsider whether I'm happy to accept orders from Bennett in the future. Okay, well, do you have any alchemist's goggles? I've been thinking about replacing the old goggles on my head for a long time. I heard that there's a new type of goggles made specially for alchemists. When you wear them, you can see all the elements, even the slightest traces of elemental energy. Oh, I'm afraid these alchemist goggles you refer to are just a rumor. I talked to that alchemist, Timaeus. He told me there's no such thing. Ugh, oh, are you kidding me? My hopes dashed yet again. Well, how about some slime gel gloves? They exist, right? I saw an adventurer using them once. No matter what the weather, they can grip onto rock when climbing. I call them non-slip gloves. Those do exist. Unfortunately, we sold out of them just yesterday. They're quite a popular product. <laughs> uh, it's okay. No big deal. I'm pretty much used to coming home empty-handed when I go shopping. Don't let it bother you. Oh, hey, how about I treat you to a meal at Good Hunter? We've been hanging out for a while now. You must be getting hungry, right? Let's go! Hi, Sarah. Table for two, please. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't think we'll be able to serve you two today. Huh? How come? It doesn't seem really busy here. <sighs> well, how can I put this? Just before you two arrived, we received an order. An entire delegation from Snezhnaya has come to stay at the Goth Grand Hotel, and they asked us to provide a meal service. So, although you might not see many people here, the kitchen is in fact busier than it's ever been. <sighs> they really know how to rope people into doing things for them. If only they hadn't offered to pay so much. <sighs> yeah. Who'd have thought we'd have so much trouble just trying to get some food? In which case, there probably isn't much we can do about it. Well, how about we just head to Mondstadt General Goods? We can at least get some basic adventure supplies. What do you think? You're in, right? <laughs> Let's go! Huh, that's strange. The owner, Blanche, isn't here. Hmm, that's really rare. Let's go over there and see what that sign says. Is this for real? A discount? I mean, sure, but not when I'm around. I've never had such good luck before. <laughs> it must be because I'm with you. Wow, lucky folk really have a different. Then again, any discount's a bit meaningless without Blanche being here. Shall we wait here for a while? When Blanche comes back, I'm gonna buy a bunch! After all, this is a rare opportunity, especially for someone like me. <sighs> Blanche is taking quite a while. It must be an emergency. I feel like she hardly ever leaves the counter. Patience is a virtue for adventurers, too. There's no rush. Do you think that... Blanche is in some kind of trouble? I'm getting a bit worried. The 50% discount is a big deal, but... Compared to Blanche's safety, I mean... Hmm... It's probably just all this waiting around making my imagination run wild, I guess. 
Snap out of it. Hmm. I don't usually say this, but do you think it's time we gave up? Land probably won't be back today, right? I guess I overestimated my luck. <laughs> That's right. I shouldn't let myself get down about it. Oh, are you waiting for me? Blanche, we've been waiting for you for ages. You're finally back. I was getting worried about you. What happened? Did you run into some kind of trouble? Oh, nothing like that. I was just sorting some things out at home. Thanks for your concern, though. But why are you two waiting anyway? I posted a noticing that we'd be closed today. Closed? We didn't see a sign like that. And anyway, isn't it 50% off the whole store today? That's the whole reason we waited all this time. Uh, let me check. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like someone removed the close sign. Or maybe the wind blew it away? The half price notice you saw was for yesterday. Sorry about that. Oh. Thanks. I'm fine. I should have seen this coming. So, so sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but waste your time all day. No matter what I do, I really can't shake my bad luck. Oh, it's getting a bit late. I don't think you can accomplish anything if you keep on hanging out with me. So, let's part ways for now. And maybe next time it'll be different. That is... If you still want to hang out with me next time.